These oh, behaviors keep our whales active and engaged. Sea World's killer whales have inspired generations around the world, and we're excited to share their stories with you today. Killer whales are the ocean's top predator. They use cooperation and communication, not just size and strength, to take their place at the top of the ocean's floor. At the bottom are small animals, like krill. At the top, the apex predator, a killer whale. Killer whales are as big as a box, faster than an Olympic swimmer. We spend days, weeks, months, years building relationships with our whales. This creates trust, and that allows us to do some amazing things. For example, when you visit the doctor, you present your arm to draw blood, or you step on the scale to see how much you weigh. It's much the same with our whales. Today, you'll see the whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors strengthen social bonds and enable them to draw solve hazards. Working together as a team is what makes them the ocean's top predator. Scientifically known as the scientist orca, commonly referred to as killer whales. Here at Sea World, we know that they're, they're coming, we're being the Lani, Lani, Turwa, and Makai are killer whales in the With Hayo is the youngest whale and the oldest in Hayo's mother, Katina. Hayo is the matriarch of the Sea World and Sea World and the oldest in the Hayo's mother, Katina. She's the matriarch or leader of our pod. Sea World's animal training techniques create a language us and the whales. It's a language of learning through positive reinforcement, encouragement, commitment, and care. Through these techniques and our relationships, the whales learn to trust us. They even learn to take an active role in their very own health and well-being. Now here at Sea World, we're able to train many voluntary husbandry or health care behaviors. But one of the very first husbandry behaviors that we train is the position in the tree that asks for a voluntary blessing. The whales learn to roll that shoulder upside down and present their tail flutes, just like Lily is demonstrating here. Not only does this give us an excellent look at the entire whale, but it also gives us access to blood vessels that can be easily seen on the white underside of their tail flutes. Our veterinarians collect a blood sample at least once a month, and the whales are trained to remain calm and relaxed throughout the entire procedure. Now as trainers who are frequently rubbing down and massaging the whales, whether on their backs, control slippers, or tail flutes, the whales have very sensitive skin, and this is just one way that we can reward the whales for remaining calm during procedures like this. It's also a great way for us to strengthen our relationships with the whales. Now blood samples are just one way that we can ensure our whales are staying healthy. Another important diagnostic is weighing the whales. We're able to weigh the whales by asking them to slide their bodies out of the water and onto a killer whale sized scale located on the water. Here we can demonstrate this in our slide out issue. Now when Lilani slides on the whales set a portion of her body from her dorsal fin to her tail to depths of the still in the water. This is the powerhouse of the killer whale. It's called the pinnacle and it's very heavy and very muscular. Now with the pinnacle still in the water, we would not be getting an accurate weight. So we're able to solve that problem by simply asking them to lift their tails up and out of the water. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are life and we surprise and engage with our whales at every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt. For the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Hi everyone, I'm over here on the left side of the stadium down by the glass. Did you know the killer whales love to play? They actually learn a lot by playing and through mimicry and observational learning. From a young age, killer whales learn important life skills by playing games such as follow the leader with their mother and other whales. And we're going to put that to the test today with all of you and our killer whale family. Yeah. So on the left side of the stadium, go ahead and stand up. We're going to play a game of killer whale follow the leader. You will be the leader and the leader will follow. So on the count of three, Baby. you'll take both hands and raise them high above your head. You Ready? One, two, three. Wait, wait. Wow, baby, you did it! 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 Wow, baby, you did it!
it did it! Thank you. 
right, hello everyone, and welcome to the Pacific Point Marine Conservation Center. My name is Dr. Zalopis, and all of us here are so excited. You will be joining us to hear all about the wonderful things happening at Pacific Point Preserve right next door. On today's agenda, you'll hear all about the conservation efforts of the animals here in our care, thank you, who do play an active role and we consider them to be partners with us. But more on that in just a little bit. Right now, I would love to introduce to you one of the California sea lions that calls this preserve its home. It's Seymour! of North America. They can range in size from a couple of hundred to nearly 1,000 pounds. Now, we will be seeing a lot more of Seymour later on in the day. Uh, for right now, though, I'm supposed to be joined by this new intern. Now, Wait, I'm here! I'm coming! you. I am Dr. Zalopis. Nice to meet you, Dr. Zalamimus. <laughs> it's Zalopis. That's what I said. <laughs> okay, we will work on that a little later on. Uh, but for right now, this is the plan for their tour. It is the only copy that I have, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to put you in charge of it. Don't let anything happen to it. Okay, stay pressed in front. You got this. You can count on me, I won't let you down. Love that. I'm actually gonna go check on the preserve. So Neutron, Neutron, since you are new, just don't touch anything. <laughs> yeah, you got it, Dr. Zucchini. <laughs> Guys, I cannot believe she's putting me in charge of this plan on my first day. I am so excited. It looks like we're gonna do some pretty cool things today. I bet you guys are wondering what we're doing, right? Yeah? Okay, first thing on the list, meeting the doctor, which we already did. Then it looks like the next thing we're gonna do is see some pretty cool animals. What and was that them. noise? I told you not to touch anything. Well, I was just studying my own oh, business. Oh, we'll make this your business and turn it off. Hurry. Okay, um, I'll put this right here. How about no, this? No, try something over there. Uh, this one? How about lower? How about this one? That is not what I meant. But that was a close one. I wasn't sure you were doing all those things. Anyway, two. Yeah, let's give a round of applause to that little thief. A thief? I don't get it. 
get it. Um, well, aren't otters thought to be mischievous? Oh, well, yes, otters are known to be quite mischievous. But here at the center, we love them. Did you know that they're listed as protected species? So here at the center, we make sure they thrive and survive. Wait, wait, wait. So what you're saying is each and every one of us otter do our parts protect them? Next part of the tour. Anything for you, Dr. Zootopia. It's a lofus. That's what I said. Okay. Here at the center, we have been studying the food sources and the eating behaviors of the animals here in our care. This allows us to understand and help sustain wild populations. For this next part, I will be help from a young volunteer. You had your hand right up. Come on down. Hello. What's your name? Harper, where are you from? All the way from America! Alright, Harper. Come on over here. Now, you look like you want to feed my buddy Clyde, right? Of course you do. That's why you volunteered. I'm going to have you stand right here because he's going to come out any minute now. And this is packed with all the nutrients that he needs. Have you ever fed a sea lion before? No? This will be your first time. So this is going to be a cake one we're going to give him. And you said you're from America. What part of America are you from? around here. So you're from Florida. Good to know. So you probably have a fed sea lion. So this is Clyde. And you're going to take it just like this. And you're going to do a big toss for me. Excellent job. Let's go one more because you are catching on pretty fast. Excellent job, Barbara. All right, come over here. We're going to get a picture because you were amazing. And he's going to come up here. And he's going to pose for us. And you're going to come right here. Put your hand on that flipper. Take a look at everyone. And on, uh, oh, that's a big yawn. On the uh, count of three, we are going to yell sardines real loud. One, two, three, sardines! Excellent job, you guys. Give it up for my youngest trainer. She was amazing. Um, doctor, <laughs> doctor zero personality. <laughs> I was looking for Clyde. I bet that's Clyde, right? <laughs> Yes, Neutron, very observant. And it's Dr. Zalophus. That's what I said. Ugh, never mind. We have already started the day and we have yet to start testing your pinniped knowledge. So question number one, how tall would you say sea lions are? Well, looking at him, I'd say three, maybe four feet tops. Check again. Check again. Whoa, he's huge. Well, yes, sea lions can actually grow up to nine feet in length. Oh, My wow. favorite fun fact is they actually have three tiny toenails in those rear flippers to get those hard to reach spots. Fine, you have toenails, do you think I can see them? Okay. Oh, I can see them. Oh, I can smell that in too, bud. Well, Clyde is showing he was a very social animal. We found they have their own personalities, likes, and dislikes. He really seems to like hanging out with me. Oh, you guys are adorable. He's also been very motivated in interacting with us and participating in his own health care. If you don't mind, I'm going to take him to go find Seymour. Why don't you help yourself to a complimentary refreshment? Wow, thanks, Dr. Xerox. Copy that. I am pretty thirsty, so drink sounds amazing right now. In these um, Neutron, your break's over. Uh oh, the can. Muscles to help him jump high into the waters. Now, C 
Seymour, whenever you're ready, let's show everyone just how high you can jump. All right, let's go for one, two, three. Excellent job. Well, now he's going to use those powerful front flippers up and down like a bird to gain speed. Show everyone how fast you can swim. Okay, round of applause for Seymour. Yeah. That was the best demonstration I have seen all day. So why don't you take this protein snack and head back this way. Um, Neutron, I have that second question for you. Yeah, what is it, Dr. Zaxby's? It's a low face. That's what I said. <laughs> question number two, uh, how fast would you say sea lions swim? Ooh, I got this. Uh, two, 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 two. No. What I meant was, why don't you see if Clyde can demonstrate how fast he can swim? Why didn't you say that earlier? Okay, fine. Why don't you go into the water just like Seymour did? And I need you to use those really powerful pectoral muscles and swim. Okay, what is that? No, John! Okay! That's not quite what I had in mind. It's not what I had in mind either. You know, but it looks like Clyde got you there. It is your first day, so it's all right. I have an idea. Why don't you just lead this next part of the tour all by yourself? All by myself? Thanks, Dr. Zac Efron. I thought we were all in this together. <sighs> okay, Clyde, Doc still doesn't know that we lost the plan, so we need to look for it. So how about we go back to the basics? Do you remember when you were pup? You used to mimic your mom's each and every move. Well, I'll be the mom, you be the pup. Follow me each and every move and stay close. Neutron say that the otter took the plan. 
So we're gonna have to come up with a great idea. Let's search for him. Oh, yes, check down there, and then don't forget to check this side of the center. We have so much to cook. You can't breathe out of that end. Coochie, coochie, coo. Are you afraid of only the otter? Why? He's only seven pounds. You know what? Let's go check in the back for him. Get back here, you little water squirrel! Oh, guys, I chased Sophie the whole way up here, but I think I lost him again, so I really need your help. If you guys see an otter, we scream, shout, get my attention. I'm gonna head back downstairs and see if I can find it. Yeah, you so, how about on the count of three, we pack this. Do you guys ready? So, one, two, three. presentation, please exit to the back of the theater. And number three, if you need to number one or number two, restrooms are located outside of the center. Thank you. use this blowhole to hold their 
their breath while they forage for their prey, which largely consists of fish, or squid, and even the occasional crustacean. To catch fast-moving and slippery fish, Woo! dolphins will use their powerful tail flukes, reaching speeds up to 22 miles per hour. They can also use these powerful tails to get a better look above the surface, getting their bodies all the way up and out of the water. Engaging with our dolphins, both physically and mentally, as you've seen in the beginning of our presentation today, allows us to give them the best care possible, and it provides exceptional animal welfare. With this care, we're able to develop bonds and build relationships with them, much like you would with a dog at home. But while dolphins seem to be natural athletes, it's our mutual love of play that provides that connection between us. And over the past 50 plus years, SeaWorld has learned that their play ultimately leads to our discoveries. So while our playtime today may just look like a lot of impressive jumps and spins, it's actually an essential part of how we care for them. Just watch. Thank <laughs> you. 
recycle, join a beach cleanup, properly dispose of fishing line and plastic bottles, or even better yet, we can choose reusable items and reduce the amount of waste we produce. It's small actions like these that can go a really long way to protecting ocean life. Sarah and I are just two of over 350 zoological professionals here on the SeaWorld team. Collectively, we not only provide world-class care for these dolphins, but have facilitated the rescue of over 40,000 animals with the goal of rehabilitating and returning them to their natural habitat. And none of this would be possible without all of you. Your visit today matters, and without your support, we wouldn't be able to do this good work and save wildlife that needs our help. So, on behalf of the entire SeaWorld team, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When we care for our world and take action on behalf of the animals that call it home, that's part of a legacy we're leaving behind. And that legacy is worth Ooh.
My name is Luke, and today we'll be going on an adventure that celebrates the Bobbio's Dolphin. It's our hope that you leave here today knowing a whole lot more about these amazing animals and have a new respect for the oceans and waterways we share with them. 